Let's begin. First up, let's take a look at the gameplay. In this game you guide a pinball through mainly linear tracks. You do this by using two move controllers to change the angle of the track which is inside a massive see through globe. Grabbing and rotating the globe is very easy and is incredibly responsive. It does feel very natural and the sensitivity is just right. If it wasn't, it really would have destroyed the game. Each track requires you to get from point A to point B. You have unlimited lives and you do actually have control over the checkpoints. If you keep the marble still very briefly, it will create a point that you will return to if you fall off the track. This is both good and bad. It's good because it obviously allows you to create a checkpoint when you see an upcoming part of the track that looks a bit tricky, but it is bad because if you fall off a part of the track and land on another part that you have already completed and don't move the marble quick enough, it will create a checkpoint there, resulting in you having to redo a whole section. It can be quite annoying. Some stages have mazes included for you to navigate your way through. They add a very slight bit of variation, especially as some have holes that you must avoid. But overall, the game plays the same throughout. When you return to a checkpoint, it resets the camera. This can make it a bit confusing on what direction you should be travelling down the track. Luckily, there are arrows on the track that show you which way the exit is. In total there are 25 stages for you to beat spread across 5 different difficulty tiers. You must complete the track to unlock the next, which isn't too much of a problem. I never found a stage too difficult that I was stuck on it for ages. You can actually cheat in the game by launching the ball onto different segments of the track, which results in missing parts of the puzzle. It's very tempting to do this in for more difficult levels, but you won't beat one of the three challenges. Each stage has three challenges for you to beat. There's one for reaching the end of the track, one for not jumping the track, and one for not falling off the track. Unfortunately, these challenges are not displayed in the track selection screen and only appear again after you have reached the track's finish line, which obviously makes keeping track of the challenge's progress a hassle. Each stage has cross-platform leaderboards for you to get a high score in, but they are not presented in a traditional form. Player scores are seen as bars. The bigger the bar, the more people completed the track in that time. It does make your score feel less personal overall. The game includes a hardcore mode that you can turn on to really test your skills. This mode removes the checkpoint system in the game, so if you fall off the track, you will start from the beginning again. Now let's take a look at how immersive this game is. Everything is very sharp and the depth is absolutely incredible. The footage seen right now may give the impression that it is quite hard to follow the track. This is not the case when played in VR. The added depth really does separate parts of the track from each other and the coloured gradient textures also make following the track easy. Each time a new maze is presented, particle effects fly everywhere inside the glass globe. Due to the amount of particles, it never failed to impress me. It really does look like something from a sci-fi film. The sounds the pinball makes when it impacts each material is very realistic. So much so, that they actually help me get used to the actual weight of the ball. The electronic dance tracks are incredibly well made, although I do think it was a little too upbeat for the task at hand. If you want to, you can turn the music off in the options menu. Now let's take a look at the setup and what controllers the game supports. I played this game in a seated position just under 2 metres away from the camera. The head tracking was perfect and the game did not make me motion sick. In the options menu, you can adjust the size of the glass globe and your height. It's a very simple and easy to use system. This game requires two move controllers to play. The other controllers are not supported. Now let's take a look at the length of the game and what trophies come with it. It took me around an hour and a half to beat all of the stages, but I didn't complete all the challenges. Unfortunately, the trophies included don't offer much replay value. In total there are 6 trophies that can be achieved. 
there is one bronze, three silver, and two gold. They are mainly rewarded for beating the tracks in for different difficulty tiers. Overall, this trophy list really isn't that difficult to get 100% in. It only took me an extra minute or so after completing the game to get the 100%. It would have been nice to have had some rewarded for beating a track in a certain time, and it is also unfortunate that there is none rewarded for doing each of the stage's challenges. It really would have given an incentive to replay for tracks over and over again. And now it's time for the verdict. This game really is about as simple as they get. If guiding a ball through a maze in VR does sound like a challenge you would enjoy, then you most likely will have a good time. The controls really are perfect, but some frustration may occur from the quick spawning checkpoint system. It is a bit of a shame that more care wasn't taken in making the game more replayable, with the trophies that come with it, and a more personal online leaderboard could have got some players quite addicted to score chasing. Replayability aside though, this is a great little title that offers some gameplay we haven't quite experienced in VR just yet, and it is very nicely priced for the amount of content here. This really is yet another game that really makes great use of the added depth in VR games. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more PlayStation VR content.